Hi, Jim here. I'm going to cover chapter one. Chapter one is the introduction to trapper's education. Trapping goes back a long time in American, North American history. Um, and in many states, you're required to take trapper's education in order to legally buy a trapping license. Here in Wisconsin, we concentrate our class on the responsible treatment of animals, safety, selectivity, ethical behavior of trappers, and the legal methods used to trap in Wisconsin. It's a serious commitment. If you set a trap, you have to check it. Do not set a trap if you are not prepared to get up the following morning in a torrential downpour or 10 below zero weather and check that trap. Different reasons why we trap or why people trap, of course, economic. Um, I can trap and sell raccoons. Ecological, it is um, positive value as the predator-prey balance is out of whack because the apex predators have, for the most part, been extirpated. Cultural, it goes back in, in many, many families' history, three, four, five generations of trappers. Biological, in that we're controlling a, a, a species that is out of balance with the numbers that should be involved. And of course, aesthetic, being out on the landscape in land that you otherwise may not ever get a chance to see. Some of the benefits of well-regulated trapping, obviously disease control. If raccoon numbers are not kept in check, things like distemper can run rampant. And it's, it's a bad thing when that happens. Habitat protection. Too many muskrats, too many beaver, too many raccoons can do damage to cornfields, trout streams, golf course ponds, different areas. Wildlife restoration, trapping with this number 11 helped to reintroduce otters into the Midwest. The, tra the otters were actually trapped with this tiny little trap and they found it was the safest method to do so. Wildlife research. Uh, bobcat carcasses, fisher carcasses, otter carcasses are all studied for natality versus mortality rates and of course helping to maintain a balance. Remember that trapping is a privilege, it is not a right. If you break the law, if you trap unethically, if you do things that the public sees as distasteful, even though your right to trap is guaranteed, you can still lose it. There are several organizations, such as the Wisconsin Trappers Association, the National Fur Takers, uh, the Fur Harvesters that you can join that help to guarantee that future generations will be, trap will be trappers, and also to help you correspond with and learn um, other people's methods and um, keep you out on the landscape trapping. I appreciate you uh, listening and giving me the attention. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you in future videos.